Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey there, Post Institute. This is Christy Sell, the co-founder, coming at you live for another episode of Post Daily Dose, the best little parenting show on the internet. Of course, I'm going to plug these books real quick while people get signed in so we can have a little conversation this evening. Uh, we're going to start with Brian's book, From Fear to Love, that you can get on promotion at feartolovebook.com. It's also available on our website as well as Amazon. We have this incredible workbook that's available in print on Amazon and an uh, ebook on our website, postinstitute.com. And lastly, this great book, The Great Behavior Breakdown, you can pick this up at postinstitute.com as well as Amazon. And if you want to get these two together, go to postinstitute.com and you'll see that they are bundled together in a package where you can get them at a little bit of a discount. Hello, Mimi. How are you doing this lovely evening? I hope you guys, I hope you and Z are staying toasty. I love seeing uh, your picture and your video. I love seeing uh, Mrs. Elijah out there helping you with that snow. Um, he is a fine young man, isn't he, Mimi? It's a lot. That's pretty awesome. You know, that is actually just pretty darn awesome. So, anyway, me and Mimi just over here chatting it up, uh, bragging on her child. So, you know. <laughs> I love family. So uh, this month, we have been talking all things love for the month of February. Um, we've talked about some postisms. Uh, we jumped into 1 Corinthians 13, and I'm going to wrap up 1 Corinthians 13 tonight. Uh, maybe you said they had a good time. That makes me so happy. You know what? There is a time in life when you could it wouldn't have been a good time. Uh, you guys would have been out there fussing, and somebody would have got their feelings hurt, and then somebody would have stomped in the house, and then all that attitude. But man, things are coming right along, aren't they? It's such a beautiful thing watching our kids mature and being able to share fun with them, um, having relationship that um, keeps you connected such a cool thing. It's just so incredible. It makes me so happy. Mimi and I, um, you know, we have lots of heart-to-heart -heart conversations about a lot of things, but there have been lots of times we've talked a lot about our kids' frustration, worry, and you know what? We may fuss and we may talk and we, be, 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 we just be talk, talk, talking. You know how we do. And we come right back to you, but what are you going to do? Well, we're just going to love them. That's what we always come back to. I'm like, well, Mimi, what are we going to do? We're just going to love them. We're just going to love them and keep loving them. And we're going to see how it all works out. And right now I see beautiful things working out. And that makes me feel so good. And I know it makes you feel good too. So we're going to wrap up 1 Corinthians 13 tonight. And I'm just going to read it. Um, you know, we've talked about every little bit of it along the way. You guys can go back and look at any of those videos. They're right here on our page. And let me just also say, if you miss Big Papa, there are two years, so that's oh, 365 times two, so that's over 400 videos right here on this Facebook page. You can go see him anytime. <laughs> and, and they're good. Oh, they're so good. That's like gold. There's gold right there. So anytime you need a dose of Big Papa, he's right there on the Facebook page. Just go up and check the videos out. Pick something that, that just seems like you're drawn to it and you can catch you can catch some good some really good nuggets, some great wisdom, some great experience. So I'm gonna just jump in. Um, because we when we started this, we didn't start at the beginning. We started in the middle where everybody quotes. But I just wanted to, you know, let's just give this full um this full chapter it's um it's a do, you know, let's just not take things out of context. Let's just go ahead and read all of it. If I speak in tongues of men 
of men and of angels, but have not love. I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gifts of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. If I give all of my possessions to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I have gained nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfection disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror that we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Man, when you let all of that percolate, When you fall out of love so often, and love just waits patiently for us to step back in alignment, we get impatient, we become unkind, we envy others, we boast, we brag, we become self-seeking, we get easily angered. But what really, really grabs me tonight is when I was a child, I talked like a child, I felt like a child, I reasoned like a child. That when I became a man, I put away those childish things. And yet when we stress, we regress. We regress to younger places that are still within our system, within our biology, within our thoughts, within our behavior, within our actions. When we stress, we regress. Age does not define maturity. There is no magic age that says, I will not behave childishly. I will not behave selfishly. I will not be impatient. I will not be rude. There's not an age for that. at least not in this world that we're living in now. I don't know if there was a time, maybe, you know, maybe there was a time in humanity when it was true that people truly put away their childish ways. But when I look in the world and I look at myself and I look at everybody I know, I keep seeing places where we step out of love, where we get overwhelmed with fear, and then we step back into childish ways. (laughs) Faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Love, we have two primary emotions, love and fear. When we are stepping in love, we are more likely to be our most mature selves. When we are stepping in love, we are most likely able to put away our childish, selfish, impatient, immature ways. Love helps us be the best version of ourselves. It helps us parent our children and be able to literally see what it is that they need, to feel what it is that they need, to know first things first. And first things first is not about, it's not about schoolwork. It's not about cleaning your room. It's not about doing dishes. It's about relationships. It's about them feeling the love that they have for us. The greatest of these is love. Faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Well, never did it say, and homework, and cleaning your room, and, you know, having pretty clothes, and, you know, having a bunch of money. It says, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. Love is the foundation 
for everything else. Having your children experience the love that you have for them is the foundation for all the other things that you want to accomplish. So, I want to I want to read some of the comments real quick. Mr. Held says, love, 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 love. Yes, yes, yes. Love, the only thing that truly matters. No limits, no overdosing. You can never have too much. Absolutely, you can never, ever have too much. And our children, especially our children who come from tough places, you know, um, maybe that, maybe there's a little nugget you can, you can share, you know, that uh, age doesn't define maturity. I was talking with a parent literally the other day, just, just yesterday, and that was a part of the conversation. She was like, how do I help my son understand it's, it's not a situation of adoption or fostering, but it's a situation of divorce and very painful divorce and a situation where there was abuse, um, child abuse. And she says, how do I help my son understand that abuse? And all I can say to that is age does not define maturity. Just because somebody is a certain chronological age on this earth does not necessarily mean that they have more maturity than someone who's 13 years old or 10 years old. Age doesn't define maturity. And maturity is a come and go thing. We may be walking in maturity one moment and we may hit something that has us stressed out, overwhelmed, flips our lid and we will regress into more childish ways of behaving. We will become more reactive. We'll name call. We'll lash out. We'll be in that hyper-defensive amygdala hijack space of fight, flight, freeze, and fawn. There's no age limit that prevents that from happening. But being learning how to calm our minds, learning how to, to quiet those emotions, that is a pathway to mindfulness. That is a pathway to helping calm that amygdala. So tonight, if you've not already done so, I want you to give yourself five or ten minutes of quiet time. Take some deep breaths. Relax. Set aside all that stuff you've been fussing about, all that stuff you've been stressing about, and especially thinking about people, you know, people who are right now, you know, they don't have electricity, they don't have they don't have heat. They don't have water. And, you know, that's an opportunity to get really stressed out, right? But let's just, let's just calm everything down. Get your warm blanket. Snuggle up with your kids. This is going to pass. We're going to have sunshine soon. We're going to be back on track with life the way we're used to it. With those luxuries of heat and warm water and, you know, and light and electric. We'll be back there. Make sure you spend some time with your kids. Focused on them. Not on the things you think need to be done. Just focus on them. Let the love you have for them shine from your eyes. Let them feel it from your heart. Let them know that we get through. Teach them in these tough moments that the way we get through tough times is we bind together. You know, maybe we'll play games by firelight. Maybe we'll read some books. Maybe we'll laugh and tell stories about how they used to do it back in the old days. Maybe if you have a fireplace, maybe you're cooking your dinner over your fireplace because your electric stove isn't working. So, you know, maybe you're having a weenie roast right there in your living room. Find a way to inject fun. It's all going to be okay. I find myself realizing that it's through difficult times that we bind together and then we create memories out of it. And we look back and go, wow, you know, I might, I might not have known my neighbor before now, but now I know my neighbor. I might be arguing with you about some things, but if I see you in the ditch, I'm going to pull you out because that's how we do. That's how we do. Let them see the love you have for them shine from your eyes. Let them feel it from your heart. Play with them. Wrestle with them. Blow bellies. If you have electricity and you can watch TV, then by all means, roll up in a cover and watch some television and relax and enjoy your babies. Just let them feel the love you have for them and let them guide you in that play. The language of children is play. Let them 
Let them direct you and how you go about it. And remember what Brian tells us, in any given moment, we can act out of those blueprints of stress and fear and overwhelm, or we can take one to two to three deep breaths. We can keep breath. Much less to go. Stay blessed and we'll see you next time. Join us live on weekdays at 6.30 Central Time on Facebook at the Post Institute. Don't forget to get your copy of Brian's best-selling book, From Fear to Love, on promotion. Just pay shipping and handling at www.feartolovebook.com. That's www.feartolovebook.com.